Right, before I go home, I just thought I would quickly show you a new purchase on the back of this tractor. Um, something which is going to make a vast difference on this place because the previous working width was only 10 foot. Yes, I know, sad in it having KB6080 on front of there, but never mind. It was a birthday present. T6 and post knocker. Right, so if you're ready for this, I will uh, pan round. We'll go that way. We'll tease you a little bit. There we have a drawbar. Lots of oil pipes. But what could be on. There's one leak in there, look. Oh, to that number one spell and you know sort that out so yeah lots of oil pipes yeah it's come from russell's it's got an unload unladen weight of four ton and seven ton when she's weighted up And it's made by Walter Watsons. Right, so there we are. We have a new set of rollers. I say, big difference from a, gray, a set of greys rollers, 10 foot. So yeah, seven ton there when she's ballast with water. It's, uh, she's certainly well made, there's some steel in it, a lot of substantial steel. It's like obviously acres we have here with two farms. You can't do it with a 10 foot roller, it's impossible. Um, so yeah, the time has come to have something decent where we can get across the ground and you can do some bloody good. I say, it certainly looks a well made set of rollers. Yeah, we've got brakes. Yeah, it's, uh, see, she's well beefy. It's just what we want here, yeah? just what we want. Yeah, it's on 460. 15.5 tyres, I know a lot of you seem to like your tyre sizes, so there you go. I couldn't care less as long as they go around and they're comfortable. So looking at it you have to, there's a couple of pins there at either side so it'll follow the ground on that back one. Doesn't look like there's a lock anywhere, a pin to lock that ram up. Yeah, we'll have a look around this side. Um, working position, top position. Ah, so there we are. Obviously, put that tap there up to go to work position. Uh, pressurized accumulator to 80 90 bar then place spool valve in float position so I'm guessing when you go into work position you pressure it up and then put it into float I to guess I don't know yet operating procedure looks very straightforward um, scraper 
That actually looks like it's sprung loaded there. Pin there on either side to hold it into transport. You can't say it's not well made. There's an awful lot of steel in this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a go with that. I'm only used to 10 foot. Yes, poor ad last could do with a wash. My pressure wash is still broken. So I'm up, don't know if that's just an oil leak there. I don't know if it's just weeping out it. My bottle, little bottle isn't full, so I can't blame it on that. Not had a leak with anything else plugged in there, so I don't know. Yep, so there we go guys, there we go. Oh, you've got lights as well, obviously. So it's nicely road legal. Right, uh, just thought I'd quickly show you that before I go home and uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys.